Hey, what's up, guys? Brad here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel video. Today, we have some Master Duel leaks to go through, and we're going to dive right in. We're not going to waste any time with some brand new ranked icons. In the game already, we of course have the rookie, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum, but it seems there's a diamond, a king of games, and a blue eyes. We're all kind of expecting later today when the rank season resets that we'll we'll get more of this, right? Maybe we'll get up to King of Games. Because the last season was only 13 days long, so I think that's why they restricted it to Plat 1. We all kind of want more in our Master Duel PvP. These could be coming very, very soon. I don't know if they're going to 100%. There's nothing I can see in the game code and asset-wise that definitively says that these are coming today. But there's a very good chance later tonight we'll see some brand new ranks live in the game. If not, the Blue Eyes one could be saved for an event thing, but I... I think the Blue Eyes one is like a master tier above King of Games. Like other, you know, digital card games have an ELO ranking after they reach the max rank. That's kind of what I think it'll be, but nothing confirmed in that regard. And then we move on to events. You might have seen some of these already. We have Classic, Synchro, Fusion, Xyz, and Exhibition. Now, from some of the leak code I've seen, thanks to Dragon, who is a ex Dawning State Miner, for the Synchro and Xyz and Fusion ones, you might be looking at the, uh, the only difference being that your extra deck is hard locked to that mechanic. If I'm thinking of what the best decks might be for Xyz, I'm thinking of Numeron. If we're going Synchro, then maybe Blackwings. I don't think Virtual World will be as good because they don't have VFD, right? They can't do that. We have a bit of an idea of how the rewards are going to work. And we're going to, at least in some of the events, going to be collecting medals to win items. Even if you lose a duel, you'll get a medal and, or some medals and you can exchange those medals in for other items and you can also rent a deck if needed now this might be for one of the events like if i'm thinking if it's going to be locked it might be exhibition because to me an exhibition match is someone promoting one thing versus another and if they want to promote certain decks they could use the rent deck feature to actually promote certain cards and get you to go and buy them of course that's my speculation we also see down in the, uh, the middle paragraph vintage cards are all the rage beginners classic enjoy an environment that's different from standard. That, of course, is probably going to be the classic mode. And if there's a beginner's classic and an intermediate classic, what, like there could be so many different things within one event that really correspond to the tier of player you actually are, which is really, really cool. Now, as I said, if you look down to the bottom paragraph, only synchro monsters can be used in your extra decks. The standalone regulation may be used. So, at least for the synchro event, from what we've seen here, you're going to be locked into synchros, which to me means like, you know, Black Wings might be kind of good. I'm trying to think of a synchro deck that you could use. I'm not, nothing's really coming to mind right now. But if that is the case and it is that like, and the actual difference between those different events is just the extra deck lock, then things could get kind of interesting because there's going to be some decks that are so broken. But again, nothing 100% confirmed, just some game code that might mean something, might not mean something. Of course, everything is still in development, blah, 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 that kind of thing. But we also have these banners and people, you know, uh, over on masterminder.com, they label these as legacy packs, but I don't think that's the case. I believe fully these are the reward packs for those Xyz fusion synchro events and not necessarily the ones you'll get with your gems, right? With your, I'm sorry, with your, uh, your medals, but the ones you will get for dueling, you know, when you're playing in standard rank PVP right now, you'll get after a duel, a random amount of legacy pack tickets so it would make sense to get these from the event you're going into right if for some reason you want to focus on let's say fusions and maybe you maybe you really want this uh this trishula but don't want to spend your urcp to craft it you could focus on this event to try and pull from this pack that probably has an enhanced uh, pull rate compared to the other packs right and the same for xyz the same for synchro all these cards are available on the pack art in the legacy packs that's why i think they'll be because otherwise that's going to be kind of disappointing there's also a tournament pack ticket one on the left which we know tournaments are going to be a thing we don't know when they're going to start or how they're going to function and so if they work like the tcg where they reprint or give easy access to some uh, some decent staple cards right cards that work in you know specific decks that come upcoming right that could be a cool way to kind of promote the new product as well so let's say we have the Alba structure coming up, right? You could maybe put Nadir's Servant in that pack. Just as an example, right, to go with the new support, they could do that. Now, 
let's go on to the brand new solo modes. That's right, there's five new solo modes in the game files already there, right? All the assets are there. The first one is weather painted. The images are a bit dark because these are the background images, right? When you're scrolling through all the missions, right? The, the goals and the, the, the practice, the duels and the, uh, the cutscenes, right? This is the background asset for that. So, we have weather painters, we have light sworn, we have Mega Phantom Beast, and we have Herald, which I forgot to change the name of on the title. That's kind of embarrassing, but yeah, that, that one is Herald. Now, as I said, we have these full artworks, but we also have the SP Deck Challenge. That is the Gate 20, and this one doesn't have any other assets apart from this file. And so I think that, like, this is my prediction here, is that over time, they will add more things to this Deck Challenge, right? There are different missions to the Deck Challenge to give us more content, right? to give us maybe some crafting materials, or some uh, some gems, or some more accessories, and they can keep giving us this without needing to go back and keep adding even more lore into the game, and just give us some easy, easy updates. I think that's probably what this is going to be for. Now, as I said, there's all this is really, really high quality artwork. Herald of the Divine looks really, really nice. There's a ton of other artworks in the game for all those archetypes I just mentioned. So they do appear to be ready, right? They could come at any point, and maybe that's what Kami is going to do, right? Maybe every month we get two or three brand new solo mode experiences. Maybe it's only one, maybe it's two, but I wouldn't be surprised if every couple of weeks we see a brand new solo mode slot. We know in the game so far that we have a bit of a mixed outdated carpool, right? There's some things from Dawn of Majesty and some things from Synchro Storm in the game, but not everything, right? We have the Chronomalies, we have um, the, uh, the Evil Twin spell, we have the Lyralusk stuff, but not a lot else. But in the game files already, there are the ace animations for literally everything else from Synchro Storm and from Dawn of Majesty. Of course, we have the Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. We have Cosmic Slicer Zero Ol. We, of course, have the Iris Sword Stole, Dawn of Majesty again. Baron de Fleur from Synchro Storm, the one card I think people were really annoyed that was missing from this batch. And also, the Cyber Dark End Dragon from the Cyber Dragon Structure Deck. Now, this is a bit of a prediction here as to where these cards are going to kind of come in, how they're going to come in. So, we know the selection pack ends in like 50 days time. And I don't think they'll wait the entirety of that time to give us all these new brand new cards. Because in the game assets, there are some placeholder slots for structure decks and for card packs. So, I think, if I'm going to do a prediction here to end this off, we will see a cyber dark structure deck, like in TCG, right, to bring all these cards kind of in accessible nice and also we'll see a structure deck for the stardust support because this one is really weird that it's missing because we have so much other star support in the game already and we've seen with other archetypes you know like chronomaly or um evil twin they got their brand new cards from this set so surely they're holding them back for some reason and i also think it makes sense because the two decks we have already in the game are utopia a gx deck and pendulum an Arc 5 deck. So, we get Shooting Star, a 5Ds deck, and of course the Cyber Darks, a GX deck. And that would make too much sense to happen. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'd like that. I think that'd be a, a really cool way. Obviously, they have to judge, you know, they have to balance reprints, right? And to not piss people off who have gone and invested so much money, maybe, into some of the Cyber Dragon cards. Because, you know, paying 500 gems for something that you spend like 10,000 on to build is not going to be a fun time for people to kind of react to. That's my only kind of a downside, right? Is I think they'll want to have mainly new cards in there, and there's probably not enough for them to do that. But that is all the leaks for today's quick video on this, of course, of course, we'll go back at it once again. We have the brand new ranks. They might come today, they might not. We have some brand new events. They might start today, they might not. We have, of course, more details on the events as well. We have the reward packs for those events. We have these solo mode campaigns that probably won't start today, although they'll be, I think, probably like mid, mid February, right, for the first one. The weather painters, maybe. And then, of course, the brand new cars that could be any time from now until the end of time. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Let me know down below what you think of the brand new content. Of course, remember, some stuff speculation, some stuff is actual assets. Uh, so do remember to keep that in mind when talking about this, sharing it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Yukio Master Duel video. See you then.